Hi guys, I have a project share for you guys today and so I was actually able to get started on some Valentine's themed items. Um, hopefully I can keep going. Um, so it's not something, I don't have a lot of time really to work on stuff, like a long period of time like I used to. So what I try to do is give myself a few minutes every evening or sometime during the day depending on when I, you know, when I can do it. And just work on a little something just to, you know, keep my mind happy and just kind of my way to get away from things sometimes. So I'd actually started making these um, probably like a week or two ago. And like I said, I just started, you know, doing a little bit here and there whenever I would have a chance to come in here and do some stuff. So um, I was able to finish three valentine's themed loaded bags these are kind of smaller bags they're just some that i had in my stash and so i decided that would be you know cute to use for these so um, i made three different ones and then i also i'm going to share with you guys kind of what i did it's just really super easy and simple like for those of you guys that don't have a lot of time you know to put all the you know, work into it, you're still creating something special made by you to send to somebody to hopefully, you know, brighten up their day, put a smile on their face, you know, getting something unexpectedly, it's always nice. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. So I thought I would share with you guys what I did. And they're kind of simple, but you know, some stuff is still made by me. What I decided to do was to include goodies in there so they could use them um, if they want to do some Valentine's themed projects or just to put in their stash or whatnot. So I included some goodies in the bags and then of course some sweet treats because what's Valentine's without a little bit of sweet treats. So, um, like I said, I created three different ones. So this is the first one, the second one, and the third one. So I guess I will go ahead and just show you guys what I did. Basically everything is the same on them. Um. The only thing that varies is like, um, like the paper's different. The goodies, like they all have a little pin, but each pin is different. So they all have the same goodies, just the designs might be a little bit different. So <clears throat> I guess I'll just go ahead and get started and show you guys kind of what I did. Like I said, I just kind of wanted a simple but cute little something. So um, this is what the bag looks like. And so I covered the front and the back with some paper that I think I have it right here. I used this paper pad right here that I got from Target. And it's the, you know, just the $3 one. Um, that's what I used because that's the only new paper I got this year for Valentine's. It's the only one I found at Target. So I just took paper from that, covered the front. In the back of the bag and each bag has a different paper on the front and the back and then what I did was when I cut because the paper was longer this way so I cut that off and then what I did was a like for um, see like this background of this page I had an extra strip and I just turned it sideways and used it on a different bag so the papers would be different and I made um, that's what I used to make my little pocket on the front was just the scrap paper and then I used some of this thin glitter tape that's from Target it came in a I think a four colors pack that I hauled recently so I used some of that to trim the bottom the top of the pocket and then the top of the main part and then each bag I used a different color so this is like the really light pink this is like the medium pink, and then this one has the red tape you can see right here. So, there's that. So, um, I, let's see, really the only thing I made, well I made these clips, I used um, a felt piece from Target. These little clips right here I put on the back are from Target as well. And then the little center piece here is from Dollar Tree. These are those rings. I just cut the back off and then glued it on and then added the paper clip so that can be attached to something. So the person that's going to get it can just use it as a little embellishment. It just tucks right in. And then I just made some simple wands. 
So I used some straws that were from Target. I made just a little rosette flower with some crepe paper from my stash. I punched out a piece of glitter paper, just a heart shape. And this sticker I've had in my stash for a few years and I just had a couple left so I decided to use them. I just backed that onto this glitter paper that's also from that same paper pad. And then just added a few pieces of ribbon to have it hanging down. Just cute and simple. So that's the wand that I did. The little clip. And then I also tucked in a Valentine pencil. And then there's this pick right here. I just thought they were just super cute as is. So like I said, the person can just use it on a project if they want to. And I also tucked in one of these really cute heart-shaped picks that I recently hauled as well. Super cute. I really like these. I want to go back and get some more. And then on the inside besides that, there's some goodies. So um, some candy. So there are some M&Ms. Then there's these. Um, I used these because they were pink. And I just added some of the paper shreds just to make it cute. So there's those. And then there is some Japanese candy that's really good. Just did it like that. So those are just tucked down in there. And then, so that's what's on or in the inside pocket. And then here, there's just some stickers that I cut up. There's one of these little sticker books that are so cute. They're like scented stickers, really, really cute. Each one has one of those. Each one has a little pen. And then I made these little paper clips out of some um, glitter foam stickers. And then one of the little hearts they had this year at Target, I used pink ones. And then just made that into a little clip. Then they also have a little notebook. And then I took these red bows that I had. It was just a fabric, like not fabric, but felt little bow. I added some of the glitter tape that's um, from Target just to give it a little bit more decoration because I was kind of plain. Just made a little tiny paper clip out of it. And then each one has this little flare. Just thought they were really cute. So that's just tucked in there and that could be used on a project or you know whatever they want to do with it. So I just tuck that in there. There's a little paper clip. And like I said, I covered the front and the back with a piece of paper from that, that paper pad. These, this is what the bag looked like. I decided to leave this piece not covered because the bag is actually pretty cute. It's why it has these little hearts on it. So I just left that showing. And then this, like I said, was just the scrap paper. And I just um, used it to make the front little pocket. And I think they came out really cute. Um, hopefully... Um, the crafty friends that are going to be receiving them likes them. I am hoping to get some more stuff done, but I didn't want to do too many at once just to make sure I had time to finish them. So I'm going to put all that stuff back in in a second when I'm done with the video. And then also with each of the bags, I'm including a little packaged thing of goodies. So this is what it looks like. There's some different stickers, there's some conversation hearts, there's the little bubbles, then there's some candy, there's some paper clips, and then there's some more flares in here. And then I just put a little felt heart. I just tucked it in, or I put it on and tied the bow so it's it stays on there, but that's totally not like stuck to it, so it can be used um, by the person that received it. So um, I made this one. And then I made this one, and then I made this one. So um, each one is has the same goodies, but like I said, it's a little bit different. I did cover, if you guys can see here, this I put some of the scrap paper, the glitter paper, around the box. And then I added one of these little hearts. That's like the ones I made the paper clips with, but it's the red one. Added that to the front just to make it, you know, cute. And so, yeah, these felt pieces can be used on a project or whatnot. It's just another extra little gift that I did. Um, so at least I was finally able to get some crafting in. 
I really want to get some more done. I have some more things that I want to do. I'm hoping to get time to do them. Um, I ho have already posted pictures of these on my Instagram. Usually I will post things on there before I ever have a chance to put the video up. So if you guys want to follow me on there to kind of see what I'm doing or whatnot, um, it's the same name as my YouTube name. If I'm anywhere on social media, it's all the same. So that's where you can find me if you want to find me. I have Instagram, I have Snapchat, I have Twitter. Um, I don't really use it that much, but I do have them. And of course, Facebook. Um, but I am most active, I think, on Instagram. So I don't know if you guys are interested or not, but just thought I would put that out there. Um, so yeah, hopefully, um, like I said, I'm going to be working on some more items, but... Um, I was glad to get these done, so I just want to package these up and get them ready to ship. Um, and hopefully I can bring you guys some more projects, because um, I have Valentine's stuff that I got to make stuff with, and like I said, I'm just, I gotta find the time to be able to do it. I'm really busy, I'm always running here or there doing something, you know, how life is, and you know, mom life and whatever. So, um, yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think, um, about what I did or um you know any questions or comments just leave it down in the comments section and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time bye